everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm gonna be showing you after I get through talking some, uh, how do you say, Mustang cars that have been modified. It's not a Mandela effect because it's not a, a production car. What these cars were, were done were purposely made to be station wagons. Mustang, 65 and 66 Mustangs. Uh, I think they look good, but they're kind of weird looking. I have a a um, a memory for for seeing pictures. Like if I think of a tur a turkey, I can see every turkey picture I've ever seen. Now I'm dyslexic, so that's part of the the gift of being dyslexic. And so it's not an eidetic memory, but it's a kind of like a photo photographic memory. And I'm going to tell you, I have looked at Mustangs all my life, seen books with Mustang pictures. I purposely have looked and searched Mustangs. I have never seen this till a week ago. Now, these cars have been modified, some for years, some for several years. So, for me, it's a Mandela effect because it never showed up until a week ago. Now, what I'm going to say is this. I do believe the Mandela effect is growing in power and intensity so what I'm saying is pretty soon we're gonna walk outside our house and we're gonna see a car drive by that we ain't never seen before and people are gonna say well buddy that car has been around for years it's like it's like the Tucker but this is gonna to be totally different and it's gonna be have kept up with time and modernization I can't tell you what the name of this car is gonna be but that's what's happening as we shifted into this higher vibration where our collective consciousness has in the past been corrupted is now being able to overflow into these multiverse multi-realities don't want to go too deep and all that but I do have people asking me to go deeper into my thinking about situations of what's happening in, in the world in general I'm going to be looking at a way to do that and uh, make these videos where I can give you a little more background into how I came to be consciously aware of the difference of when I was asleep to then when I woke up and what it means to wake up. So check this video out and see if you've ever seen any Mustangs that look like this. If you have never seen them, it's a Mandela effect for you, but it's... It's just a Mandela effect for us that I haven't seen them before.
I went home on Monday night, as drunk as drunk could be. I saw a horse outside the door where my old horse should be. Well, I called my wife and I said to her, Will you kindly tell to me who owns that horse outside the door where my old horse should be? Ah, you're drunk, you're drunk, you silly old fool, surely you cannot see. Ah, that's a lovely sow that me mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I travel a hundred miles or more. What a saddle on a sow, sure I never saw before. And as I went home on Tuesday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw a coat behind the door where my old coat should be. Well, I called my wife and I said to her, Will you kindly tell to me who owns that coat behind the door where my old coat should be? Ah, you're drunk, you're drunk, you silly old fool, still you cannot see. Ah, that's a woolen blanket that me mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I travel a hundred miles or more, but buttons in a blanket sure I never saw before. And as I went home on Wednesday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw a pipe upon the chair where my old pipe should be. Well, I called my wife and I said to her, Will you kindly tell to me who owns that pipe upon the chair where my old pipe should be? Ah, you're drunk, you're drunk, you silly old fool, sure you cannot see. Ah, that's a lovely tin whistle me mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I traveled a hundred miles or more, but tobacco in a tin whistle I never saw before. And as I went home on Thursday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw two boots beneath the bed where my old boots should be. Well, I called my wife and I said to her, Will you kindly tell to me who owns them boots beneath the bed where my old boots should be? Ah, you drunk, you drunk, you silly old fool, sure you cannot see. Uh, there are two lovely geranium pots me mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I travel a hundred miles or more, but laces in geranium pots I never saw before. And as I went home on Friday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw a head upon the bed where my old head should be. Well, I called my wife and I said to her, Will you kindly tell to me who owns that head upon the bed where my old head should be? Ah, you drunk, you drunk, you silly old fool, sure you cannot see. Ah, that's a baby boy that me mother said. It's unforgivable. Well, take a looky right here. 
But take a look at this picture, guys. Isn't this interesting? All right, you got a guy saying we're happy at CERN, and he's got two signs around his neck. The first sign says Bond 1. And then the second sign you'll notice says Mandela. Now, if I understand correctly, this video was made before the Mandela Effect shit was even discussed. If I understand correctly. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on it. But I believe that's the case. Now, you say, well... We got the Mandela part, but what's the Bond 1 part? Well, it just so happens that the first name of the first James Bond, or the, uh, excuse me, the last name of the first James Bond was Nelson. Okay, so the two signs together make Nelson Mandela. The first Bond's real name was Nelson. I can't remember if it was his first name or last name. I think it was his last name. But anyway... The two signs together make Nelson Mandela. So these son of a bitches at CERN knew exactly what the fuck they were doing in advance of when they done it. Isn't that a crock of shit? Now you say, well, Vaughn, it could be that maybe they're just, maybe the video came after all this Mandela effect shit and they're just making fun. Well, that still makes him an asshole. That still makes him an asshole. Okay, so either way I fucking win. Either, either they knew in advance they were going to do this shit or they're making fun of this shit after the fact. You know, when, when we now know that families have been ripped apart, land masses have been changed, books, movies, uh, videotapes, uh, even the Bible has been changed. You know, and these motherfuckers are laughing about it. These motherfuckers are making jokes about it. These motherfuckers are happy about it. No. No, I'm sorry. At minimum, he's a fucking asshole. At minimum. All right, so this is a, this is this is a crock of shit. But I wanted to get this out, and and like I said, hat tip to uh, to the other old earthers out there. You know who you are. You know those of us that that know the Mandela effect isn't isn't us having a, a a brain aneurysm or some shit. For many of us out there that are awakened to the truth, we know the reality of things whether it be Bible verses that have uh, been changed or whether it's been uh, movie catchphrases that we all grew up on. These are things that have been ingrained into our culture here as uh, Americans and, and also worldwide. And, uh, you know, things from Star Wars or Forrest Gump, uh, the Berenstein Bears, um, just, just a plethora of different things out there that have been turned upside down. And it's not so much the issue of a movie or a song or a TV show or theme song or a movie quote. That's not the issue. The issue is that we're not crazy. We're not crazy. We know what's going on. We know the truth. We know the truth of the word of God. We know the truth when it comes to TV shows, movies, entertainment that we grew up on. Everybody knows that for Star Wars, it's Luke, I am your father, not no, I am your father. Uh, Forrest Gump, everybody knows the reality that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, right? But yet, the doggone devil wants you to believe that no, you're crazy. It's life was like a box of chocolates. And you know what? By the power of the Holy Spirit, I feel I've been I've been afforded the opportunity to go ahead and, and expose the truth, the reality of things, uh, the way I see it. The devil, the enemy, CERN, the elite, the the Illuminati, the Luciferians, the Satanists, these folks that are out there, uh, you know, dabbling in witchcraft and whatever the hell else they're up to, in regards to this this, this great deception. I don't know what the hell they're up to, but I know this. The truth shall always be revealed. You can deceive. You can try to, you know, uh, you know, pull the wool over people's eyes. You could do try to do mass delusion to me. But you know what? The truth will always prevail. And today, I have a perfect example for you. So right now, I have listed up here. We have Forrest Gump. Everybody's seen this scene. 
and uh, this is actually filmed in one of my favorite places in America which is uh, Savannah Georgia beautiful place so most everyone remembers this scene with Forrest Gump sitting on this bench talking about life is like a box of chocolates right mama always said life is like a box of chocolates well with the Mandela effect let's go ahead and play let's see what's going on here take a look hello life was like a box of chocolates that is a doggone lie that is an absolute doggone lie let's let's play that again my mom so let's delve a little bit deeper in this let's look at the movie let's find out what did his mama actually say all right, so right there, the, the amazing scene right there with Sally Field and Tom Hanks. His mama says, life is a box of chocolates. Now, I'm, I'm going to try to contain myself because I'm so angry right now. I'm so frustrated. Um, this Mandela effect and the deception that's taking place and that there's many that think we're all crazy. They just straight think we're crazy stone cold crazy and we're not crazy we know the truth and praise be to God I found that I found some evidence I found some truth and I'll play that next I'll try to be quiet and let it play out uh, till the end and uh, well let's just go take a look and see so we can see the evidence that look his mom actually said life is right and now we're gonna see the real true iconic scene this is behind the scene footage that I was able to find on the internet on YouTube. Actually, I, I didn't find it on YouTube. I believe I, I found this uh, off of like a Daily Motion or something like that, possibly. Um, but I will provide the link below and uh, let's roll it. Forrest Gump starts as a boy and then he grows to a man who's someone who grew up in the Deep South. And he's limited in a way by having a very low IQ, but he's a very decent man. And that's what he is as a character. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, thank you. I found the book for us, 1985. And I fell in love with it. I read the first line. And the first line of the book is, being an idiot ain't no box of chocolates. My mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates. Wait a minute. So, did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? You know, you know, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Because that's the scene right there, right here, that myself, along with millions of others, heard and remember. Right here. Let's play that again. We're going to play this a couple times. Let's do it. Life is like a box of chocolate. I said that life is like a box of chocolate. My mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So right there, y'all. I'm done. It's just, it's, it's, it, it angers me. It's too much. Um, I got more videos planned. Please share the word. Share, share these videos. Uh, share these links. Make your own videos. Get the word out about the Mandela Effect because it is real. This is proof and evidence right here, right now, that something's going on. Millions upon millions of us remember seeing... Forrest Gump and the iconic line life is like a box of chocolates but yet it's as though our reality got flipped upside down but you know praise be to God he allowed me to be able to find this evidence this proof and provide it to the world to see so please share this video make your own videos and let's get the word out about the truth behind the Mandela effect
shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on Folks. 